Ah, spring. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and your toddler is extra crazy from being cooped up all winter long. Fear not, because today I'm going to help you bring back your sanity with 13 easy and fun spring activities for toddlers that will help support your child's development in the process. So if you wanna see what we have in store for you today, then stick around. My name is Jess. I am an early childhood educator and toddler mom who is on a mission to help moms of little ones navigate the world of early motherhood. I created the Innovative Mama to share helpful tips on pregnancy, parenting, and early childhood activities. So if you're not already a part of our mom squad, then please be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you always catch all of our new helpful parenting content. Now let's check out our 13 spring activities for toddlers. All of these activities that you're about to see are available in the spring unit of my Tiny Tots Toddler Curriculum, which is a play-based at-home curriculum for toddlers and preschoolers ages 18 months to three years. I will leave a link to the unit below so you can go check it out after the video. If you'd like to know more about my Tiny Tots Toddler Curriculum, then I will also link an informational video for that in the description box as well. So first, let's start with our fine motor spring activities. These activities will help strengthen your child's hand and finger muscles, as well as their hand-eye coordination. Our first activity is a flower push. For materials, you're going to need a colander, some floral foam, and some artificial flowers, which I just grabbed from Dollar Tree. To set this up, you're going to want to trim the stems a bit, then place the floral foam under the colander and have your child push the flowers through the holes and into the floral foam. If you need to extend the activity to make it a bit more challenging, you can have your toddler count the flowers as they put them in the holes or create a simple pattern of colors or different types of flowers. Next, we have Feed the Caterpillar. This is really simple, but kids love using their imagination to feed bugs or animals. I took a recycled cardboard tube and painted it green, but you can also choose to cover it with green construction paper if you'd like. I then glued some googly eyes on and a pipe cleaner for antennae. I showed Luke how to feed the caterpillar mini pom-poms and that was it. If your child is older, you can have them sort the pom-poms by color first or have them roll a die count the dots, and then feed the caterpillar that many pom-poms. You can also have your child use large plastic tweezers to make this activity a little bit more challenging as well. Another simple yet awesome activity is planting flowers. For this, I printed the flower printables for my spring Tiny Tots unit, then laminated them, yeah. cut them out, and hot glued them to green popsicle sticks. I took an empty egg carton and flipped it upside down and cut slits in the top, then I had Luke plant the flowers by pushing the popsicle sticks into the egg carton. The next few activities are gonna focus on gross motor skills, which will help to strengthen the larger muscle groups of the body, such as the legs, arms, and torso. Luke had so much fun with this balloon cloud activity. We blew up some white balloons to act as clouds, and then had Luke throw and kick them around the room. So simple, yet so fun, and it definitely got his little legs and arms moving which is the goal of this activity. Just a disclaimer, you always wanna supervise your children closely during any of these activities, but especially this one, as balloons can be a serious choking hazard. Be sure to never leave your young child unattended with balloons and remove them from the room as soon as this activity is over. After being cooped up all winter long, getting outside in the spring is definitely a welcomed activity. This spring scavenger hunt will get your little one running around and enjoying the fresh air while exploring nature and building their vocabulary all at the same time. This scavenger hunt printable is available in my Tiny Tot Spring Unit. So I just printed that and I took Luke outside with a clipboard, a crayon, and a basket and off hunting we went. We found yeah. different objects outside, such as a leaf, yeah. rocks, grass. trees, and grass. And then yeah. my husband Mike and I showed Luke how to check off the items as he found them. If something was small enough, he also put it in his little basket. I also included printable picture cards in the spring unit to use if you can't find a particular item in your area or just as a bonus activity for vocabulary enrichment. 
This flower picking activity was really cute and Luke really enjoyed it. I used the same flowers from the planting flowers activity in my spring unit and stuck them in the grass around our backyard. We took Luke outside with a basket and had him run around the yard and pick the flowers. If your child needs more of a challenge, have them grab only the flowers of a certain color before returning to get the others. I also have numbered flower printables in the spring unit to add an even greater challenge to this activity where your child can pick the flowers in number order. Sensory play is so amazing for toddlers. Research shows that sensory play builds nerve connections in the brain's pathways, which lead to a child's ability to complete more complex learning tasks. Sensory play also supports language development, cognitive growth, fine and gross motor skills, problem solving skills, and social interaction. Our first sensory bin activity is a duck pond sensory bin. I just threw some rubber ducks in our Ikea flea sat sensory table with some water, a few drops of blue food coloring, and a dropper, and then let Luke explore. This is also a great hands-on activity to sing with the song Five Little Ducks because you can take the ducks out of the bin as you sing with your child. If you're liking this video so far, then please give that thumbs up button a quick click to show us and let us know in the comments what you like most about spring. This next activity is such a fun way to explore flowers. I made these flower smelling jars using mason jars with holes drilled in the lid and fresh flowers. As long as your child isn't sensitive to floral scents or doesn't have allergies, then this activity is great for examining the sense of smell. You can also take some fresh flowers and put them in a clear water bottle to make a flower discovery jar. I got a bunch of these clear sensory bottles from Amazon, which I will link down in the description box, but they are amazing for making sensory bottles because they don't tip easily and they have a wide top, which makes them easy to fill. A flower discovery bottle is a great opportunity to explore and talk about parts of a flower as well as different colors, patterns, and textures that your child sees. What would a list of spring activities be without a gardening sensory bin? I opted to use black kinetic sand as a substitute for real soil to keep the mess factor a little lower and it actually worked out really well for us. I picked up some plastic planners from Amazon along with this really adorable children's gardening tool set, which I will link down in the description box. I also grabbed some artificial flowers from Dollar Tree and stuck them in there as well. This is a great way to introduce the concept of gardening and taking care of plants to your young child. We also have this little learning resources grow it play gardening set, which is a great option if you wanna keep things squeaky clean. Cognitive activities have to do with how your child thinks, explores, and figures things out in the world around them. First in our cognitive category, we have a flower color sort. I printed the flowers and sorting mats from my Tiny Tots spring unit and then had Luke sort the flowers by color. You can also use real or artificial flowers for this activity as well. If your child needs a greater challenge, you can sort the flowers by size. I do have printables for this activity in my spring unit as well. For a simple, easy science experiment, try this rain cloud in a jar activity. You fill a clear jar up to about three quarters of the way with some water, and then mix some blue food coloring and water together in a separate cup. Right before you're ready to begin, fill the rest of the jar with shaving cream, then take a dropper and slowly drop some of the blue water over the shaving cream. Continue to slowly add more as you watch it come through the cloud and into the water. Honestly, Luke was still a tiny bit too young to completely understand this, but he was so excited about it regardless. It also helps that he is currently obsessed with the color blue, so he was screaming blue the whole time. Blue. 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 I did share some vocabulary words during this activity like cloud and rain. Even though my son is young and may not completely understand, he was repeating the words, which is at least giving him some exposure. No. Me. Just remember that it's never too early to get your kids exposed to this kind of stuff and let them experience these things, even if they don't completely understand them yet. Our last category is our art activities. This tissue paper ball butterfly was not only a great and easy art project, 
but it's also great for fine motor skills as well. There is a butterfly template included for this activity in my spring unit. So we just printed that out, tore up some tissue paper and crumpled the torn paper into little balls before gluing them onto the butterfly. Easy peasy, but super cute. If you haven't noticed, I like to keep things simple with toddlers, especially when it comes to art projects. This next art activity is simply painting with flowers. I used artificial flowers of various sizes, but you can use real flowers if you prefer or even mix the two. I had Luke dip the flowers in paint, which I put on a paper plate and then instructed him to paint his paper using his flowers as paintbrushes. I encouraged him to use different motions such as stamping and brushing back and forth. We also talked about different colors we saw and explored the different patterns that the different flowers made. If you're interested, you can grab my Tiny Tots Toddler Curriculum Spring Unit through the link in the description box below. There are over 25 detailed activity plans and printables included, and the unit is differentiated, which means you can choose the correct task or activity for your child's readiness level. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and let us know in the comments which activity you like the best. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can catch more fun and educational activities for your little one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.